There is a 3000 mAh battery inside the Vivo V7. The phone ships with a rather standard 5V 2A plug and it fills up 25% of a depleted battery in 30 minutes, while it will take about 3 hours for a full recharge. The Vivo V7 posted an endurance rating of 77 hours. That's a slightly below average number for a 14 nanometers chipset. The performance in the call and web test routines is quite promising, but there was a relatively higher power draw in the video playback test, as well as in standby. Our endurance rating denotes how long a single battery charge will last you if you use the Vivo V7 for an hour each of telephony, web browsing, and video playback daily. We've established this usage pattern so our battery results are comparable across devices in the most common day-to-day -day tasks. The battery testing procedure is described in detail in case you're interested in the nitty-gritties. You can also check out our complete battery test table, where you can see how all of the smartphones we've tested will compare under your own typical use. Audio output starts off great, but headphones cause some damage. The Vivo V7 did very well in the active external amplifier part of our audio test. Its loudness was well above average, and there was no weak point in its performance whatsoever. Plugging in a pair of headphones dropped the volume to average and added a moderate amount of stereo crosstalk and little intermodulation distortion to the mix. It's decent overall, but hardly stuff worth writing home about. You can learn more about the tested parameters and the whole testing process here. Loudspeaker The Vivo V7 posted a very good score in our loudspeaker loudness test. The sound turned out pleasantly deep with rich tones, but there might be some distortion at the maximum level depending on what you're playing. It's loud when it matters, and some high-pitched tones can even reach up to 90 decibels, 